Hey guys and welcome to day two. We are at Ferrari Land for the morning. Nice LaFerrari in the corner, sort of blending into the archway. There's Red Force in all its glory. I'm so excited to get on that. It looks amazing. Tallest coaster in Europe. Not checked, but I'm gonna guess it's the tallest coaster I've ever done. Um, there's the Thrill Towers. There are actually two, although it only looks like one. And whoa, look at that. That is nice. Obviously Italy in the corner. But yeah, looking forward to a good day out today. So we're waiting for Red Force, aren't we? And we hear it launch, or we hear it start to launch, and then it just sort of is quiet. And I didn't know whether it was just because of what I was doing. And then I'm looking over up to the top hat. It just never, never came. Uh, and yeah, Mum sat in the grandstand over there, and she said that it's just stopped on the launch train. So, and it's very slowly coming back. And we just, you know, we can hear the motors whirring. There it is. Oh yeah. But yeah, obviously it's designed for this and all that, so I'm not worried, it's just a bit, yeah, a bit weird really. So we've just come off Red Force, Luke and Dad got front row, I got third row, I didn't really want to do front row, I just a bit scared, but wow, that was good. Um, it's nowhere near my top coasters, I'm not a massive launch coaster fan, although having said that I did love Icon, uh, yeah it was fast, uh, you got some great views from the top, but you got air time pretty much all the way down that top hat. It was a little bit rough though, I was a bit disappointed on how rough it was. Uh, but yeah, what was your thoughts, Luke? I am not sure if that's my new favourite roller coaster in the world. Yeah, and I think it's second, so Shambhala is not third, but I'm not sure whether it's third. Uh, yeah, I know Dad's the same as well, isn't he? But uh, yeah, a really good coaster, although we did wait an hour for it, which kind of ruined my opinion a bit because I do not think it was worth an hour. Luke and Dad probably do, but. Yeah, I didn't try front row, I was just a bit too scared. Whether that would have changed it, I don't know. But yeah, uh, an hour's queue, because it broke down twice, and they also changed over one of the trains. But yeah. A good solid coaster, but uh, still feel like there's not, there is, it's starting to become a park now, but I feel like they could have just added this into the normal theme park. But, good ride. Good first ride of the day. So we just came off crazy pistons and that was one crazy ride. I'm sort of hanging behind the group and there's glorious red force hanging. Really did enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, some interesting forces. I got air time. I'm not even sure how I got air time. It doesn't make physical sense, but I did. Uh, the restraints were horrendous, but the ride was interesting. I've never seen one before, and I wouldn't be surprised if that's a unique ride because I can't imagine any other park that wants to team their rides to pistons. But interesting theme. Yeah, it was a weird ride. Uh, I haven't done many flat rides, but I can only guarantee that was a weird flat ride. You're sort of getting pushed in down your back, downwards and then into the side and then you get a bit of air time over the top. But yeah, we're queuing up for Junior Red Force. In fact, there it goes. Interesting ride anyway. So we're queuing up for Junior Red Force or the McDonald's coaster as I like to call it. It's interesting how they went for everything the same, apart from the same colour track, but yeah, it's also got the break on the hill there, 
so interesting ride yeah should be fun two lap special of course So just come off Junior Junior Red Force or Red Force Junior whatever and the most uncomfortable seats I've ever been on. So painful. Flipping heck it is so loud. Uh, the most uncomfortable seats I've ever been on weren't they dad? They were the most uncomfortable seats on a roller coaster. It's all about the aesthetic, all like a racing car, hard black plastic. Back row, back into it. Even Lauren got a sore shoulder from it. Yeah. We went front row, they went back row. It was pretty fast uh, and pretty smooth as well, but the seats didn't really help. It's an okay ride. I'm not too upset because there wasn't really a queue for it. If I'd been queuing 10 minutes, I wouldn't be very happy. But yeah, having a good day so far. I'm gonna have to spend, we're going to end up spending longer than we originally thought here, aren't we? We came off the Marinello Grand Race, went into Flying Dreams, then went into Racing Legends, which are the two simulators. Now the Marinello, the Marinello Grand Race uh, was really good, it was better than uh, Tornland Speedway in my opinion, a lot better themed, and there was only two lanes which I preferred. But uh, then we went into Flying Dreams, is it Dad? Yeah. We did Flying Dreams, which is like soaring at Epcot, and that was that was really good. That was, I don't know, I think I prefer that to soaring just because uh, of the flowers and stuff. But really cool. And then we did Racing Legends, which, yeah, don't bother, <laughs> basically. Uh, it was a bit rubbish. Um, yeah, what did you think? Oh, I, mean, well, I, I, I didn't know what to expect from coming here, and I thought Ryland was really all about Red Force and some other kiddie rides, and you put them two drop towers in on drop tower and shop tower. I now realise it's not, it's the Red Force and then them two cinemas, and not the two sort of marquee things. And yeah, the one that's the, um, the soaring type one is really good, and probably better than soaring in my opinion. And the other one, the Trans Make a really good simulator ride. Which is not quite achievable. I think mean, you've got limitations. It's like a cross between a 4D cinema and a simulator, but it's neither really. Yeah. But you can see that the two big attractions those things. Because we've done uh, we've done the Jimmy Fallon ride in Universe, which is the same system. Yeah. And I remember that being better than that. Yeah. Simulate yeah. Luke, what did you think? I didn't really like the racing I thought the flying dreams was amazing, I was blown away. But racing legends, I think they could improve it. Yeah, it was a bit weird, but yeah, both some good simulators uh, but flying if you only get to see one flying dreams is definitely the one to choose but yeah we're queuing up for Redfoss because it's now on a 10 minute wait having another go on it so it's a uh, bit past five and we're all being ushered out of the park but because Paul's Venture was open till 11 we're literally halfway through our day but that'll be in a separate vlog so for now uh, this is the end of the vlog what was your favourite moment of today? Uh, favourite well, thing? my highlight that's the one <laughs> my highlight has got to be front row on Red Force because like I know 
The goggles were a bit annoying, but I understand why we have to wear them. But it was just amazing. The other two times I went there, it was a bit but the first yeah. I think it was also because it was the very start of the day. Yeah. It was really smooth. Yeah, I have to say for me the highlight is Red Force and Beauty over there. But uh, it's been a good day. Well, it's weird to say that because we're literally halfway through our day. But a good morning. No, it's not morning either. Good time. That's yeah. the one. We'll go with that. A good time today. There's the store and a pumpkin that's sunk into the ground a little bit. But yeah, good day today. Dad, what's been your highlight? Uh, Red Force. It is but beautiful. First ride on Red Force, front row with the goggles on. Yeah. It is beautiful. Look at it. It is beautiful. Sunlight. Like... My new second so, coaster. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> That's what it says. Uh, so, yeah, I've been Matthew Howard. I've been Luke Howard. This has been Port Venture with Ferrari Land Vlog, and that's that.